Hi Notioneers, today I'll show you five ways to use Notion's new sync blocks feature. This hasn't been announced yet and it's still in beta, but it's available for everyone to use right now and I haven't run into any issues with it so far. Firstly, I'll show you how you can uh, share content from other pages in different pages in your workspace. So if you keep a knowledge base in Notion, for example, and you want to share some information from a guide, you'll be able to do that using synced blocks. I'll also point out some of the key parts of this feature at the same time in that section. Then I'll share how you can uh, access and update your daily task list throughout your workspace to save yourself navigating backwards and forwards uh, to, fo to keep updating your task list. And then we'll have a look at keeping database views in sync. So if you uh, reorder a column or you add a filter to a database view and that views inside a synced block, then all of the other uh, copies of that synced block, all of the other database views uh, that are shared throughout your workspace uh, will be kept up to date with those changes. Then I'll explain how you can use this feature to bring all of the discussion that you've had about different things uh, throughout your workspace into a single page for your meetings. And lastly, we'll use sync blocks to create a header and footer for your website. Okay, so first of all, uh, we'll have a look at sharing content from other pages in a particular page in your workspace. Uh, we all know Notion's a brilliant tool to use as a wiki, and sometimes you want to be able to view information from a guide, for example, uh, on a particular page so that you can use that whilst you're working. So now all you need to do is copy a link to the block that contains your information uh, and paste it into the other page. Uh, you don't even have to share every block individually. Uh, if you turn one block into a synced block, you can drag and drop other blocks into the synced block area and all of that content will be available via that one link. Uh, I'm obviously going to be saying block a lot in this walkthrough. So to show you how that looks, um, I'll just go into this guide that I've got set up here, uh, which explains how you can calculate the number of hours and minutes between two times in Notion. And I've got this section here, uh, which gives you the formula uh, that shows you this output when you're looking at uh, the difference in time between these two dates and times. So in order to share all of this in one go, rather than sharing each block individually, what I'm going to do is turn this block here into a synced block. And the quickest way to do that is to type forward slash and then sync. You can see that block's now got this red highlight around it. And then all I need to do is highlight these three blocks here, including that one that has the space, and drop them into this sync block. Uh, there's going to be a an extra block at the bottom there um, because we've inserted a, a database view. So I'll just delete that. And then we can literally just copy the link to that block right there. Go into here and hit paste and then paste and sync. And it's that simple. You can now see all of that same content. Uh, you've got uh, an exact copy of the filtered uh, link database view with all of the, the different settings applied to that there. Um, so we're ready to go. Now, if we hover our mouse over the synced blocks uh, or synced block even, um, you can see that's highlighted with the nice uh, big red square. So that's very obvious that it's synced. And if we click on uh, anywhere inside that area, we can see that um, we're editing one other page and uh, the we can see where the original block uh, is, which page that's inside, uh, which is actually quite important. So um, the reason that's important is because the synced blocks uh, inherit their sharing permissions from the original block, which is this one right here, and it takes you straight to it when you click through there. Um, and so you want to make sure that uh, everyone who needs to be able to see the content inside the sync block has access to the uh, page which the original synced block is inside of. The other thing to be aware of is if I delete the original synced block rather than one of the copies of it, then the syncing will be stopped for the rest of the blocks that we've shared for our, our workspace. So if I click there and then I click delete, then uh, you do have the option to delete and unsync copies. Um, so this content will still be kept on the other pages throughout our workspace, 
But if you make any changes to those copies, then those changes won't be synced uh, between the remaining blocks. Lastly, there's also an option to uh, just stop syncing all of your synced blocks uh, on the original block. So um, if you want to keep all of the content everywhere that it's already been shared, but stop syncing those changes, just click that and uh, that will stop the syncing from happening. Next, we'll have a look at how you can access and update your task list from anywhere inside your Notion workspace once you put your task list inside a synced block. So uh, I've got a demo page which I've set up here. And if we go into that, you can see all of my different task lists uh, for Monday, yesterday and today right there. And I've already set this up as a synced block. Uh, just to show you how I've done that, uh, if I just add in a toggle block there, we call that tasks, and then we use the app mentions uh, to insert a dynamic day like that. All I need to do is uh, open that toggle block up and add in my different tasks here. Task three. And then uh, because these uh, toggle, sorry, because these checkbox blocks are nested inside this toggle block, when I turn this into a synced block, uh, they are automatically included inside that block. So there's no need to do any dragging and dropping. What I've also done is I use an, uh, an app on my Mac called Alfred, which lets me save different uh, text snippets and inserts them automatically for me when I uh, write particular text. So if I write forward slash tasks, Alfred has just pasted that link into uh, this page for me. And if I just choose page, paste and sync, now I've got my toggle block right there uh, ready for me to update throughout the course of the day. If you don't have an app like that, then uh, obviously you can just keep a link to your block in your notes um, or in a, a digital sticky note. Um, but ultimately you just need quick access to that link uh, so that you can paste it wherever you are. And because this is in a toggle block, um, I don't have to worry about this cluttering up uh, the other pages of my workspace. It only takes up uh, a single line um, when that's hidden. Next, we'll take a look at uh, some functionality, which I know a lot of people are going to be very happy about um, because I've heard the complaints about uh, sync database views being independent of each other so many times. Uh, so now we're going to be able to drop a database view uh, inside a toggle block and share that throughout our workspace uh, so that if we make any changes to the view, uh, those changes are kept in sync everywhere. So for this, uh, all we need to do is um, go to a database view. Uh, I've got one inside this template already. Uh, and if we take this uh, and we make this block here a synced block, for example, and we just drag and drop our database view into there, delete that original block, and then copy the link to this synced block. Again, I can just paste that into here. And now we can see a mirror image of our objectives linked to database view right there with all of the same settings. Sticking with the team uh, productivity theme, uh, next I'll show you how you can consolidate discussions from throughout your workspace using synced blocks. Uh, what I've got here is uh, this would be a standalone page usually for a company meeting agenda and we've got our different teams and the different talking points that each of those teams need to discuss. And what I'm imagining, uh, and this is something that I've done whilst I've been testing this feature um, before it was launched uh, with my own clients, uh, is um, we need a single page for our meeting and we need all of the notes about all of the different discussions that we've been having uh, about various items uh, in one place. So if you use Notion's comments fu uh, functionality, then you can um, just turn the blocks that you've been uh, using where you've been making notes about uh, different things that you've been working on uh, into a synced block. And then this even uh, enables you to see the comments that have been added uh, by different team members um, 
so basically what you end up with is a set of different sync blocks like this and then you can see absolutely all of the details that you need to be able to see um, about these discussions and about these uh, things that the team is working on all in a single page. Last but not least, uh, we can also use synced blocks to set up a header and a footer for our websites. Um, so if you're using Notion to power your website like me, then you can use uh, synced blocks to add uh, those components to your pages. And that way, whenever we need to update the links, you only need to change them in one place. So what I've done here is I've created a copy of my homepage. Um, or at least some of the components from my home page and so we've got our products pages, news and contact pages. I've uh, created a simple uh, text block here with uh, links to each of those pages using mentions um, and just regular uh, text for the pipes um, and then turn that into a sync block and then I've done the same thing with my for my footer uh, just there. So when I click into each of these pages, I've just pasted those synced blocks into the page and everything is kept nicely in sync. So I really hope that was useful. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to add them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, if you are looking at creating a website like mine uh, with Notion, then I would recommend using Super um, to add a custom domain, uh, Google Analytics and styling to your site. There's a link to uh, Super's site in the uh, page which is in the description for this video. So thanks very much for watching. I will be back soon with more feature walkthroughs.